What's up? Super Bowl predictions. You see me. I got to rock my Michigan Wolf Marines, man. I got to get the new era hat. You know I got to do that. I got to get the starter jacket. I got to get the motherfucking shirt. Wolverines, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this shit. Nah. Back to the Super Bowl predictions. Broncos, Panthers. Who do I think is going to win? And who... I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to take Denver to win this game. Everybody picking um, Carolina because I guess their talent on defense and offense because of Luke Keekley and Cam Newton and all that. But I know... I know. I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. Carolina is more talented than Denver is. Especially especially on the offensive side of the ball. They are more talented. No. I actually the Panthers, they're really not that talented on the offensive side of the ball. Maybe outside of Greg Olsen, actually. But their receivers is garbage. Except Kelvin Benjamin, he's injured. But really, they don't. And Jonathan Stewart, he's not really a great weapon. Running back like that, he's just having a good season, in my opinion. What happened to the other seasons he's been in the NFL? What what he do until now? You know what I'm saying? Do they have a – I mean, they do put up points per game, but I don't really think they got a lot of talent there, in my opinion. Their talent on the offensive side of the ball is overrated, if you ask me. People say, oh, no, he's, he's good. He put up points. Yeah, they do. But that's Cam Newton. That's why. Cam Newton is a fucking beast. Now, nah, some people hate Cam Newton. I like Cam Newton. I like him as a player. Even though he is a little cocky and arrogant. But, hell, fuck it. The NFL needs some cockiness, some arrogance in some players, you know. But he ain't my most hated quarterback. My most hated quarterback is Aaron motherfucking Rodgers. I hate that son of a bitch. I want to sock him in this fucking shit. Can't stand Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I'm also just coming from the. <laughs> I was just also coming from the club. Well, not the club, but the lounge. But that man, I'm not even gonna talk about that man. <laughs> I ain't gonna go into that man. Whatever. But I, I went out with some girls and shit. But yeah. Anyway, back to the game. Now Carolina, their defense. They got some talent there, though. Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis, uh, I think his name Charles Johnson, Josh Norman. and They had Charles Tillman until he got injured. They they got some talent on the defensive side of the ball. And they got one of the best defenses in the league and definitely the best offense in the NFL. No, I think they had the second best offense in the NFL. But they, as far as points per game, wise. But they are very good offense, probably the best team all around. However, Denver has the best defense in the NFL. And I think the reason why I picked Denver to win, I know Carolina's more talented, but they're young. And I think Denver is more hungrier than Carolina is. It It's not always about who got the better talent when it comes to winning championships or winning the Super Bowl. It's not always about who got the better talent. It's about It's always about who is more willing to win? Who got the will to win? Who got the desire, the desperation to win? That's what it's all about when it comes to the big game. It's not always about talent. Because if that was the case, the New England Patriots in 2000, in 2007 would have won the Super Bowl with 16-0. and 0. They would have won the fucking Super Bowl. Okay? If that was the case, talent-wise, if talent trumps everything in the Super Bowl, if that was the case... Then the fucking uh, Indianapolis Colts in 2009 would have won the fucking Super Bowl. And I'm just being, that is the truth. If that was the case, then tell me why the the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, no, not the Buccaneers, excuse me, but the, uh, the Baltimore Ravens, they won the Super Bowl back in 2000. They had a good defense, but really they didn't have a lot of talent. They just had the will to win. They had a very good defense. 
And that's exactly what I think when I when it comes to Denver. It's not always about the talent in the Super Bowl. People are, oh, they got, they got no talent on the offensive side of the ball. They ain't got no talent. They ain't got no talent. Talent, it's not, talent is not going to win on this game. The will to win, desperation, and everything else is going to have them win this game. I'm picking Denver to win. Not in the blowout, but they're going to win this game. They're going to win. I'm going to take Denver. I'm going to take Denver to win. I say 23. I say 23 to 16. Denver wins. Seriously. I think Denver is going to beat Carolina. It's going to be it's going to be a tough ass game. If you think Cam Newton going to be running all over the Denver defense, you you are sadly mistaken. You think he's going to be doing all that extra shit? No. <laughs> he's not doing that. Trust me. They going to have his ass on seats all fucking game. They going to make him throw picks and all types of shit. Now, I'm correct. Granted, they gonna give Denver a fucking fight. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, if Carolina wins, I will not be surprised. But I don't see them winning, and they don't want pay. And plus, they don't want pay men to go out like that as a loser. You know what I'm saying? You know the NFL fixing shit. They want they want pay men to go out a fucking winner, straight up. They don't want him to go out like that. In in his possibly his last game of his career to go out a fucking loser. No. I don't see that happening. And I think the Denver, they're more desperate to win the Super Bowl because, they, and this is one of the last times I think this team will be able to go to the Super Bowl at least for a while, in my opinion. This is this is one of the last, the window is about to close on Denver, and they got to they gotta get it done now. They got to get it done. Because I don't, pay man, I don't think he's playing next year, so they got to get the shit done. So I'm picking Denver because of desperation and the will to win over talent. That's why I'm picking Denver. And that's it for my Super Bowl predictions. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Go Blue. Go Michigan. Peace.